What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn how to make event groups. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to easily create your own custom event groups simply using Daisy Editor and Daisy XML Injector Bot. Let's get into this. But first, we got to build an event group. Go ahead and open up your Daisy launcher and you're going to select the Daisy Editor mod. If you're specifically on console, you can unselect or deselect the builder items unload only that mod and then you will show just the daisy editor dabs framework and community framework as the selected mods don't worry about this little red dependencies missing all this is going to do is not have the builder items on your usable items list on the left side of your screen since you're on console you can't use them might as well remove them as an option so you don't get them mixed up once your editor has loaded up, go ahead and click open editor and select the map you're working with. If you have other mods selected for alternative maps for PC, they will be selected here. I'm going to simply use Chinaris as a universal example. Once you've loaded into editor, as always for Chinaris, you load into the Novi Sober area. We're going to go to a more open spot over here to the Northwest airfield. I'm going to make a simple airplane event group as a demonstration and example. It's a nice open lot right here. Looks like a perfect spot. Go ahead and tap your space bar to bring up your mouse. And we're gonna start with our centerpiece, which is the C-130J. Select your item, and you wanna find whatever position you wanna put that in. I think something like this looks good, like it kinda went off to the side there. And go ahead and put that wherever you want it to be. Quick tip in editor to change your camera speed on the fly, hold the C button or C key and scroll your mouse wheel down or up to slow it down. Then when you hit the shift key, you have a little bit more control if you have a slower camera speed. But back to what we're doing here. Now that I have my main piece where I want, I'm gonna go through and add some crates and some wooden boxes as decoration to be around it so we can have something else to put a map group proto on to provide loot for this event group through the economy when we're done. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse the rest of this and finish this little bit of a build up and we'll be back in a moment. So here we have just a little simple event group set up. Use some wooden crates, some wooden boxes, and use some of the decals that were already labeled as underscore DE for dynamic event. And now we're going to export this as a .json file. So click your file up top on the left, click export, go down here to export to object spawner, JSON is what we want, and we're going to give this a name. So it spawns at the top. I'm going to give it a couple zeros. Northwest Airfield Plane Event Group Example. Go ahead and export this. Now we're going to open up our file browser. Go to Documents, Daisy. Click on Editor and find the file that you just exported. Called this one 00. There we have it, event group example. That's gonna be the file we need right there. Go ahead and hop over to the Discord, link in the description. You're gonna come down to the Help Center. And you're gonna to go to the XML injector channel that we have set up. And we're gonna use the Daisy XML injector bot to convert our JSON to an XML event group. So what you're gonna do is type forward slash convert, and then just type 
space XML. It's going to give you a couple options here. Event groups XML or map group pause XML. We want to convert this JSON to an event group. So we're going to click event groups XML. And then it wants us to attach our file. So we're going to click, drag and drop. Simply tap enter. Give it a second and it's going to spit you back an example or the setup for an event group. Let's go ahead and copy this information, take it over to our notepad and set our event group up. Let's go ahead and open up a new and paste in that information we just got from our bot. And now to set this up, we need a couple of files open, our events.xml, our event groups.xml, and our event spawns.xml. I like to start with the events. I copy a situation or convoy from the vanilla. So control F, let's just search for the word convoy. It's going to bring us to our vanilla event for convoys. We're going to copy that. Let's take it back to the top where we're working. Just paste that in. We're going to give this a new name. We're going to keep the static prefix. We're going to call this C130J Northwest Airfield. Make it simple, right? And we only have one event set up. So we're just going to example one and we're going to leave the rest of this alone. I already have it set up for a short radius. You will want to set this up for a longer radius. I'm sure like a vanilla 1000, but for example purposes, so I can just be in the area short radius control S to save. And we're done with that for now. We're going to come back and grab this name in a bit. So let's look at the information we got from the bot. It gave us an event spawns and it gave us an event group, but the names are a little wonky. It's not quite what we want them to be. We want our event name to be what the event is. And we want the event group name to be whatever this group is called. Now we could leave it as injector land rec as it does match. Actually, we'll just leave it like that for example purposes anyway. So let's go ahead and copy this event spawn. Control C to copy. Come over here to our event spawns file, just paste it on in there, hopped over to your events, copy the name and paste in the name. So the event and the event spawns correlate with each other. Back to our bots information, copy the event group, control C, bring it over to your event groups file, control V and paste it on in. Now, because our event group name matches what the events spawns is calling it's going to call for this event group to be at this event spawn so control s to save all of your files you're going to upload these to your server you're going to load in and check it out i'm going to go ahead and load up my local server and we're going to check it out so here we are on our local server We've got the plane crash in sight had to wait a second for it to spawn in but as you can see all the items we placed are exactly as we had them placed. There are a few differences. I am using Dabs and Doritos new proxy proto, which enhances gun racks, adds smoke to the airplanes, adds the blinking lights from the roadblock signs, etc. But as you can see, everything is exactly in place as we put it in the editor, exported it from a JSON and turned it into an event group XML simply by putting some information into the discord through a discord bot daisy xml injector folks but that's gonna be it for this one hope you learned some shit i'm out <laughs>